Now, the last player that we have in the game is uh, the OG of desktop software in the industry, and that is Citrix. They've been at this since 1989, a very, very long time. So let's talk about Citrix. If this is our server, and this is our hypervisor, uh, they used to call their hypervisor Zen Server. So you'll hear Zen Server a lot. Um, and now they have gone to Citrix Hypervisor. A little more straightforward now. So that's what they call their hypervisor. That hypervisor creates virtual servers. And it uses uh, software, DAS software, inside of that virtual server to create virtual machines and to run DAS. So um, they've also renamed their DAS software. It used to be called ZenApp and Zen Desktop. Now they've renamed these Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop. So once again, they've renamed these products just to make them mean more and be more relatable to the average user. What's interesting about Citrix is that you can run a VMware hypervisor and you can run software from Citrix. You can work one on the other. In fact, that's exactly what we do at Rapid Scale in many instances. So these guys have been at the game for a very long time. They, they have been there from the beginning. So they've, they've learned a lot of things. They've learned all the ways to do it wrong. And now they do it really, really well. VMware's a little bit newer. Uh, they're newer to the game, um, but they're also very good. So what is the difference between uh, a Citrix and a VMware? First, the cost of licensing on each program can vary. So it all depends on what the company needs, how many users, are they shared, are they dedicated, what kind of tenancy are they running. There's, there's a number of questions. Um, your licensing could cost more on one than the other. Uh, what is the back-end infrastructure within that data center, within the company, within the uh, users, how they're using things? The infrastructure is going to be more suited to Citrix or VMware. All depends. You have to work with the cloud engineer on what that looks like, how, and why. And finally, whether you choose VMware or Citrix really comes down to the in-house expertise you have or the cloud provider you're working with. Both can do a great job. The question is, What's the expertise of the person or the team that you're working with? Usually, um, many teams are really good at Citrix, or a person may be really good at VMware and know a little bit about the others. Now, at rapid scale, we do both. Um, but typically, you're not going to find that. So uh, know where your expertise is and choose a solution that's based on that.